Hey guys, Joseph James here once again with your nightly newsletter brought to the school of trade.com. Today was October 9th, 2009. Guys, finished up a fantastic week in the room this week. Before we talk about those trades we took live in the room today, I want to remind you of our free resource online. Go to our YouTube page, forward slash School of Trade. And while you're there, guys, subscribe to our channel. That way you always get the new videos. And then please rate and comment on this video. Well, let's take a look at our total for today. Had another big day in the market, guys. Just shy of 450, 445 in the market this morning. Now, of course, that brings our weekly total, guys, here to 3K, 3,000 this week. And, guys, keep in mind, guys, this is only four contracts. So a four-contract account is four grand. We made almost... Uh, what, what's about 80, 90 percent return this week on a four thousand dollar account? Again, guys, our old our old uh, times of good volume and good moves are back again here after the summertime. And of course, four forty five this today in the room, twenty nine ninety five for the week, and of course, a little over four thousand now for the month of October. We'll keep you guys posted as we work our way through. Now, guys, the term of the day today is follow through. Now, this is a term we use all the time in the trade room, and the term follow through is a term we use to describe a movement in price that continues off increased participation by the traders in the direction of your trade. So, follow through, you'll hear me say things I, I need to see follow through on this move to enter the market. And basically, follow through is, is when we see price break above uh, maybe a swing high, and then we see the confirmation of that move by the increased participation by the traders in that direction. Now, here's an example of, of what a follow-through looks like on your charts. Now, let's, as an example here, let's pretend for a second that this is overhead resistance, right? This red line here is a level of resistance. So price, of course, will go up and test that resistance, and then, of course, pull back a bit. It'll bounce off that because of the resistance level there. Well, now, as you guys know, we're looking for a break above that red line. Now, this, of course, can be a breaker pattern. It can be a two-step pattern. But whatever it is, right, the buyers are going to enter the market one or two ticks above that level of resistance or that swing high right there. Now the follow through happens when we see the new highs right above those one or two ticks where we're getting above the buy stops, we're getting above all the rookies jumping in early and basically after we see those first one to two ticks go by, price will then explode to the upside. So what's happening here is, let me, let me back up real quick, the first one to two ticks above that swing high are only going to be the rookies jumping in early and the buy stops and sell stops being run. We want to get over that noise right there, the first one or two ticks, and I want to see follow through. Now follow through means that once I get above those one to two ticks there, once I make new highs, we get through all those buy stops, now everyone on the sell side starts to see, wait a second, the buyers are in control now, they're pushing above that swing high, and it's on increased buy pressure we see that fall through and price explodes to the upside. Right? That's what we want to look for. Now, here's what it looks like if we don't see any fall through. We see price break through that red line as resistance, but then we don't have any real pop, right? There's no explosion to the upside. Those one to two tick new highs, right? We don't see anything more than that. So it goes one tick above, two ticks above, back to one, up to two, back to one, and it basically just sits there. It loses momentum, and you can kind of feel that whatever momentum to the upside there is now quickly diminishing. And then what we see is the sellers will step in and grab hold of this price if there isn't that follow-through. And again, guys, that follow-through is what makes that price really, really move above that red line. And again, it's going to be addition to those one to two ticks above that swing high because that's just noise. Now, of course, when we don't have follow-through on a trade here to the upside, we can also look for a counter-trend trade, which is called our two-step. So whenever we don't see follow-through to the upside like that, always keep in mind, we never have to wait very much longer for another pattern to develop. So whereas before, we were looking for a breaker long, this now, without any follow-through, turns into a two-step short. Again, guys, what is follow-through? It determines if the price will move and if it will continue. Okay, so again, follow-through determines if the move will continue. It confirms our entries, and we look for follow-through on our time and sales window and our pace of a tape. We read the speed of the tape. We look at the buys versus the sells around that potential level of resistance or support. We watch the size of the orders. And, of course, we look for patterns on our pace of the tape. Now, guys, we're going to show you more about follow-through as well as how you use all of our indicators on Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. when we open up our room. Okay, so come out and join us on Monday morning. On Tuesdays through Fridays, we open up at, at 2.45 a.m. For, for the European session, at 7.45 a.m. Eastern Time for the U.S. session, and, of course, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do free webinars at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. 
want to encourage you guys, before you come out and join us on Monday, on Monday morning, grab a copy of the Beginner's Course. The Beginner's Course is going to give you a firm foundation of knowledge about what we use to trade, what we're looking for, our patterns, the indicators we use, everything as you know to make the most of your three-week three, three, week, three week trial. All right, guys, let's take a look at some of the trades we took today in the room. Now, we, bro we grossed just under just under 500 bucks today in the room. Had a pretty active day here uh, for a Friday, of course. We had an early close across the, uh, the Globex markets because of the holiday on Monday. We will be open on Monday for trading. We do have the open outcry pit is closed on Monday, but the electronic session is open, so we will be open for trading in the live trade room on Monday morning at 7.30. Now, our first trade of the day, guys, here on Crude was after the U.S. Open at 9.37, this is the first trade here in crude. This is a two-step long. Entry here was at 58, right? 71, 58 was the entry here. Got a small bounce there to the upside, took our three ticks, and then, of course, got out at our point of entry when we moved our stop to our entry point. Got six ticks there on the first trade there on the crude. Now, at 942, here was another bigger winner. 942 on the crude, again, a breaker long. 71, 69 was our entry here. Now, again, guys, we're waiting to get above that swing high. You can see that swing high level mark with the red arrow down as well as that horizontal green line right there. So, of course, once we broke above that level, got filled at 71.69, we took off to the upside here, as you guys can see, plus 4, plus 8, and then plus 4. Add them all up, guys. There's 20 ticks there. So, we got 26 ticks there between 9.30 and 9.45 here. That's 260 bucks, right, or about, almost about a 2.5% return on just two trades here on crude. Now, we weren't done there yet. At 10 o'clock... This is a crude breaker long at 71.92. So we, of course, just a couple minutes there later, our last trade was at 9.47. We took another one here at 10 o'clock on the crude breaker long. 71.92 was the fill here. We took three ticks, moved our stop to entry, got bounced out of our point of entry just before this thing came crashing back down below us. And as you guys see here, that puts another six ticks in our pocket, another 60 bucks. So there's uh, six ticks, 26 ticks, 32 ticks there on crude here as of 10 o'clock in the morning. So 320 bucks on crude before 10 o'clock. Right, as you guys know, we're not done yet. Next up was a euro, 10.09. Now, we saw a bunch of volume here between 9.30 and 10.30, but then things kind of started to drift off to slumberland. So 10.09 was the last hit of our day today on a breaker long here in the euro. Entry here was at 1.4744. We took targets here at four ticks and had to, had to manually get out of our second target at one tick there for our runner. That puts 10 ticks on our pocket, right? Two off at four is eight. Two off at one is two. 8 plus 2 is 10. There's your 10 ticks for 125 bucks there. 12.50 per tick on the euro, of course. USD at 10 ticks. You guys do the math there. 125 bucks in our pocket there on the euro. And that, of course, finished up our day, guys, just below that 500 bucks mark. Now, as you guys know, we had a great week already this week. We made almost 3,000 bucks this week alone in the trade room, guys. And we use this indicator, the pace of a tape indicator, as a great tool to earn that money. Now, of course, I want to remind you guys, the pace of the tape indicator, a brand new indicator, the school of trade, we use patterns in our pace of the tape indicator, as you can see here. In this case, we're looking for a breaker long. We saw decreasing price action, decreasing pace of the tape on our fastest time frame in the lower left-hand corner. And again, guys, I want to remind you that all these, all these profits are made a lot easier with this pace of the tape indicator. And as always, we're going to give you guys a chance to look at that indicator, as well as all of our, other, our, our setups, our time frames, our stops, and our targets as part of our free trial. Come out and join our trade room, guys, on Monday morning at 7.30 Eastern Time. 7.30 Mondays, we open up at Eastern Time on Monday mornings. Guys, we'll let you guys look at any market we want. We'll trade any market. Plenty of time for questions and answers, so bring your questions with you guys. We'll give you a free three weeks as part of our trial. want to remind you guys also, we have a great resource called the Beginner's Course. The Beginner's Course is going to answer all your questions about the time frames we use, the chart templates we use, the markets, the workspace, the indicators, everything you guys want to know about what to be aware of for Monday morning's trading is in the beginner's course. And I also want to remind you guys, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please rate and comment on this video. My name is Joseph James. For more information about Lifetime Membership, please drop us an email, sales at schooloftrade.com. And as always, guys, have a great weekend. Happy holiday to everybody out there who has a holiday on Monday. We'll see you guys on Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Bye-bye for now.